something for what it's worth With you heaven is a place on earth And I will take you there I'll take you So let's go ahead and get into it Greetings, Talians. Welcome back to the channel. If you are a subscriber, that means that you're already a Talian. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button so that you can be a Talian, be a part of the fam, and hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I pull up with new content just like this. The plus side to being a Talian is that you get an extra bonus reading at the end of certain readings in conclusion to whatever you already selected in the main portion of the reading. So it's like a, a two for one special. You don't wanna miss out. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell. That's, that's it, it's simple, it's free. And honestly, it makes you better. That's just my opinion though. All right, so we have five groups here, not including our bonus group for Talians at the very end. I will see you guys there, sending you so much love, but let's go ahead and hop into today's reading. We're talking about what energy is ready to rise and shine within you? As I'm recording this, we are embarking upon a new year, but honestly, that has nothing to do with this topic here. I just feel the energies and it is what it is. Spirit is calling for you to embrace this energy that is rising from within, to birth a newer, better, more responsive and correspondent version of you. We have group number one, with acquisition, group number two, with organization, group number three, with speculation, group number four, with drama, and group number five, with manipulation. Please do not be spooked away from any groups because of the imagery or the word or anything like that, okay? Don't be spooked. Just do what you know that you need to do. Acquisition is corresponding to the number two, as well as sun and Taurin energy. These do not have to be your signs or anything like that. It's just talking about the energy that is rising within you. Group number two corresponds to the number 10, Mercury in Capricorn. Group number three corresponds with the number four, Jupiter in Cancer. Group number Four corresponds with the number five, Mercury in Leo. And group number five corresponds with the number eight, Jupiter in Scorpio. Feel free to pause the screen if needed. Select as many groups as you see fit. And I'm off into the groups. Talians, I will see you at the end. All right, so group number one, I've got some keyword cards, a die, and some initials. We will get into that towards the end. This is just like a look of the draw, like a chance, okay, just for you to be able to link things even more. All right, but you have the card acquisition, highlighting sun and Taurin energy, the number two. All right, let's see what energy is ready to rise and shine within my group number ones. Okay, I'm literally feeling this energy of rising and shining out of bed. Okay, so you could be ready to wake up earlier or to have a set morning routine for some of you this means exercise for others of you this means uh actually eating breakfast um or protein shakes i'm seeing someone jogging i'm seeing someone specifically um blonde hair in a ponytail the hair is like mid back length this person either likes the color blue or is wearing the color blue and or gray. Okay. All right. 
We have Cancerian energy, the caretaker. Some of you could be meeting your spouse in this setup, um, like where you wake up. It's in the morning time. You're going to go work out or something like this. If it's not that, some of you already are in a connection and this is something that you will do to bond. Something like this. Wow. Okay, so that's more than I wanted, but Juno, commitment. This talks about long-term relationships. And then number 12, we have subconscious. Yeah, so um, what is actually rising within you is the type of partner that you desire. Uh, actually, not even desire. It's the type of partner that you need. Um, this is the type of partner that you need more than anything um, in, when it comes to uh, long-term committed relationships. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be for love, if that's not your interest, but that is the main point here. I'm seeing someone to build a home with. This energy is coming through here. Subconscious commitment, what's best for you, okay? I'm seeing that subconsciously there are some fears that are going to be stemming up. Um, and basically, as it comes up and it like it's floating off of you, like how steam rolls off of boiling water, it's like um, as that's leaving, the boils, like the actual boiling water itself is like creating and manifesting a new energy of um, like acceptance to allow this energy to brew within you. As you're releasing, you are creating new energy. Um, not, it's not creating new energy. It could be, but um, it's more of you are attracting more energy um, because you're creating space for it. As you're releasing, as it's steaming away into the air type thing, you are now downloading and receiving more bubbly energy, quite literally. Um, bubbly in whatever sense that it needs to be in order to attract the partner that you need. Uh, this is like a very eye-to-eye -eye kind of connection, like no drama. Um, heavy emphasis on no drama. Okay, and I just remembered that one of the groups is drama. Um, is that group number four? Group number four, their card specifically says drama, so you may be drawn to the drama card as well. You don't have to be. All right, let's see. But yeah, even with caretaker energy, it's coming through um, with this essence of home, where you feel safe. That's what these two uh, connect through, is a sense of safety. But yeah, so these two connect and find a sense of safety in their pillar boundaries. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, let me finish my statement before I get into this. Okay, so pillar boundaries, um, meaning the no drama essence. Okay, whatever these two would consider no drama, you are con coming into contact with these types of energies. And again, it's something that was subconsciously uh, keeping you away. It could be so many different things in everybody's uh, walk of life, but that's the main thing that's coming through here is that there was some sort of blockage or fear or... Um, I don't know why I just got something about the ambulance okay for some of you this was like a health thing um, that may have gotten in the way of something um, somehow creating a blockage between what you truly need and I'm talking like on a soul level not on the fleshly level I have this belief where you have desires like that's what like the fleshly desires are um but there's also the belief that just because you desire it doesn't mean that it's good for you long term that it's nurturing for you long term that it's blessing you or helping you in any way shape or form now when something resonates for you on a soul level um, your flesh may not immediately like it it may actually quite literally reject it right off the bat um but in due time, you see how it's meant to grow you and aid you along the way, okay? Um, so let's see here. We have third house, Mars, Libra, uh, communication, ambition, and the mediator. Uh, this is 
the action between the thought and the 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 tangible evidence it's the action between it's the mm, not even the action this is the brains of it this is the action of it but there's still something else that needs to bridge these two to get it done and it's about that as above so below concept as above so below tells you that you had this thought for a reason let's go ahead and get it done but there's still uh, a need for energy to be pulled between the thoughts and the actions to know exactly what actions to take here. So I'm seeing something about um, like mediating two things have been bridged here. Okay. So again, the concept about the steam releasing, um, allowing space for the bubbles to fill you up with new energies. It's that concept there. Um, you got the, the between that, that between spark to get the communication to uh, inspire real action real motion okay I'm not talking about like oh yeah I'm gonna make a I'm gonna write a list it's like no real motion on the list now okay and look at that as I say that we have Gemini the investigator at the bottom of the deck here so first of all I just went on a huge tangent and I feel like it was very educational um, I felt fully enthralled or invested I guess you could say yeah we have Venus North Node and sixth house um, I genuinely wanted to be in that conversation I genuinely cared what was going on I genuinely cared that you understood what I was saying um, this is what's coming through right now um, what's ready to rise up within you is an aspect of yourself that's ready to meet someone else's aspect of themselves <laughs> a breakthrough there's something here about What's ready to rise and shine within you is genuine connectivity. Like this is giving the energy of planting a seed and watering it and tending to it and doing everything that you need to do in order to get it to sprout. That's what I'm getting here is like, there's a sprout here. Like seeds have already been planted. We already put in the love. We already did the TLC. We didn't even give it time to grow. Something here is, it's been given enough time to sprout. Taurus, the connoisseur. Yeah, like um, it's gained wealth, like it's gained weight. Mm, there's a lot of invest, there's a lot invested here, thank you. A lot has been invested. Oh, my luck, 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 luck. The Seven of Pentacles. I split the deck right to the Seven of Pentacles. A lot has been invested here. Can you really just throw that all away? Something that you have invested a lot of time, effort, and energy into, or a relationship, um, that's that's about to pay off in, in a big way. What is this? That's peaking. Oh, bitch. What do we say? This is like... That's the sprout. That's what we were waiting for. Whew. There's some, oh my gosh, the star. There's some sort of healing breakthrough. Um, this is either you forgiving someone or someone forgiving you or uh, both sides forgiving the other. But this is a breakthrough. Wow. So, I just feel like the energy in my spine has been released, like something that had you so tense, you are about to be so relaxed.
Let's see. This could be like a real heart to heart. Um, that could be ready to rise and shine. We have Sandpiper Spirit, be playful. And we have the Crow Spirit, co-create with Spirit. We have Parrot Spirit, watch your words. There we go, the conversation. A loving conversation to heal a heartbreak that time has been invested into. But I'm seeing that with be playful here. Um, dang. This is, in, oh wow, this is investment. Whew. There's some sort of big investment on the horizon here. Um, that is what is ready to rise and shine from within you is some sort of big commitment. Um, some sort of, for some of you, this is like, uh, didn't I talk about the ambulance? For some people, uh, your feet, your legs, uh, your hands, anything could have been involved, honestly. Um, and that's only for a select few, but there's some sort of recovery here. Um, like this is like looking like a healed marriage or a healing a marriage. Mm. Yeah, man, this is beautiful. Please let me know in the comment section down below if this is already unfolding or has by the time you see this. Let me know. But I, because this is what is ready to rise and shine within you, I feel like this is a level of maturity within you to forgive and accept whatever did occur. No matter if you were the one to uh, do the apologizing or be apologized to, it doesn't even matter. Oh my gosh. Nest, an emotionally secure and loving family is important to you. This is about home. What's ready to rise and shine from within you is commitment. To invest your time effort and energy into something or someone unicorn that you see fit to do so with use your intuition to make beneficial changes you are making a choice here you are making a choice here um whether this is about a, a job that you're committing to i'm seeing a lion head in my uh, third eye right now you are the one who is bold and courageous enough to agree to whatever this commitment is success and i just heard because you believe it it will breed success like I, this is a lot of wealth and i'm talking about like wealth like emotional wealth this it's looking like a pyramid to me this is emotional wealth, emotional health, in a cycle. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I could cry, honestly, I could. Okay, so this is what is ready to rise and shine from within you. It's an abundance of love. It's like this never ending well of love, forgiveness, caring, uh, just rejuvenation in whatever way that that applies to you um, and where you feel it's worthy of trying again. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again, again, again. All right, let's get some final messages through the chances that we take we have the number three i was just talking about a pyramid that's a three-sided figure a triangle all right let's see here i'm getting excited we have recognition okay yeah i said that uh, like something is being decided um recognized acknowledged uh centered upon because i keep thinking about it, like triangulation like recognizing where something needs to be triangulated um i'm hearing the letter m or w is relevant no matter what letters i pull all right so we have q y a 
Someone's name could be like Maya, uh, or even with a like a, a Q name, Quandell, Kendall, Lexi, um, Xavier. So we have Q Y A K X N H. Something about a kayak. There's that W that we discussed earlier. And oh Lord, I just broke a K. I literally just broke a K. So somebody could have broke up with a K or something like that. Something. Yikes. And C. Okay, something about questions that need answers. And this is all that I have for you guys. Leave them in the comment section down below and you let me know. How did this resonate? What did it make you feel? What did it trigger you to remember, think of, act on? Sending you so much love, so much life, and I'm off into the next group. All right, so group number two, group number two. Group number one was really juicy, I gotta admit. It was kind of juicy. I feel like I got all the tea, okay? But you, my friend, have organization with Mercury, Capricorn, and the number 10. Okay, so what is ready to rise and shine from within my group number twos? Uh, something about heavy hitters. There's something about um, like you are in a room or in a space where um, you're intimidated by the people around you, but you don't realize that you look, walk, talk, breathe just like them. Like on the outside looking in, y'all all look the same. So whatever you admire within them so much that you distance yourself from it is actually exactly where you exceed beyond expectation. So whatever it is that you admire in someone else so much outside of yourself, is exactly what's trying to rise up within you and it's not trying it's getting it done this this could quite literally be someone's like work ethic or their organizational skills or whatever or their uh, commitment to a cause yeah as i said that virgo So talk to me, group number two, what is ready to rise and shine from within you? A confidence, um, a pep in your step. Uh, I'm kind of getting like a right to brag, but not in a bragging way. Like it's in a way of like, like if you just, I don't even know, like if you got your doctorate's degree, like that's rights to brag be like yeah I'm dr. so-and-so that's rights to brag um, or if your biggest thing was like oh my god I want to be a mom and you have kids that's your right to brag like if you're that person who's walking around all the time yeah my kids my kids this my kids that my kids so be it that's your right to brag so something here what's ready to rise up within you is your right to brag and I mean that in the most humble way see what did I say first house Jupiter and Taurus like you have rights to brag like you don't don't try to like play yourself down like don't downplay yourself now don't do that we have Virgo here D like just because you're a perfectionist don't like nitpick yourself down like what was that what card was that that just peeked out 
Chiron healing. Like, don't don't forget about the good shit is about you now. Like, yeah, like yeah, you have your downfalls, but psh, think about all the ups now. Like, be flucking for real. <laughs> Okay, we have Lilith with the taboo and fifth house pleasure. Okay. Yeah, like Oh, it's like this energy of like a how a black hole consists of everything. The color black. We don't even have to talk about black holes. Just like the color black is the presence of every color, okay? It always pulls something new out of the hat like that blackness because it's made up of everything you pull everything out of it it's surprising it's fun it's kooky it's crazy but with organization here it's also well balanced so what's what is ready to um rise and shine from within you is honestly your recognition of how well organized you are in your mess okay i guess you could call it that like if you want to call it a mess but it's not a mess um with moon emotions femininity i think that you have um a viewpoint or a perspective or the softest part of you or the most internal subconscious aspect of you sees the world in such a way that um makes you forget about the organization of it and just only focuses on the complexity uh, but when you zoom out it's not so bad and it's 303 on the Klizok. okay we have the queen of swords here yeah like when you think about it it's not so bad uh, i see you really taking control of your thoughts here come on yeah really can taking taking control of your thoughts um having higher thoughts of yourself is what's rising up from within you and not burdening yourself or blame really it's like the burdens come from blame there's something about you like blaming yourself or having a tendency to take on a lot but um i just basically you may feel like you're too much in some way shape or form and you like want to tame that like this leo energy you want to tame it sometimes like with the taboo like you feel like you're too much sometimes but no like you don't see how it's like well organized or literally well organized well attained well maintained put together the ten of swords you make it look easy that's not even a real song i'm probably going to go write that okay but um queen of wands ten of wands queen of swords ten of swords well balanced don't get it twisted don't get it twisted let's put this up here oh i just realized we have triple tens 10 10 10 20 equals 50 bitch max city city bitch max city bitch rack, rack city. okay so rack city by taiga is coming through anyways we have the four of swords at the bottom of the deck okay let's get into it let's get into it. what is ready to rise and shine from within my group number two what is ready to rise and shine within my group number twos we have dragonfly spirit truth transcends illusions that's what i'm talking about your illusion is like the the mess uh, i heard the illusion is the vulnerability for some of you this means a lot of different things in a lot of people's lives um the number 22 is standing out to me as well give with gratitude and grace okay yeah that's what you're giving to yourself you're showing gratitude you're speaking you see how it's like the gratitude and grace is like whispering into the queen of swords ear and the queen of swords controls the mind of the queen of wands and that controls her perception of herself the perception of her life and the way that she perceives life and just mm, everything that falls in line with that perception ten of swords change of thoughts change of heart brown bear spirit take time out to the number nine take time out to transcend the illusions so what is ready to rise and shine from within you true self-love 
true grace, true balance, true vulnerability even. Oh my God, I said that the turkey was whispering into the ear of the queen of swords who controls. Bro. You've got heavy protection on the other side. Or this is even uh, someone praying over you. Someone's praying over you. This could particular be, particularly be someone you know praying over you, um, like in the 3D or someone that you used to know if they've passed on, hence the taboo energy here. All right. All right. Let's see. One more tea leaf card and we are going to move on valley deep personal strength and peace that assures success dolphin financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past okay so that last card kind of put a whole new spin on it not like not none too crazy but if you are gaining from usually from something that you did in the past that's forgiveness that's acceptance that is investment that's reward you're more confident about the choices that you're making the commitments that you're making the chances that you're taking the leaps of faith that you are taking Honestly, what is ready to rise and shine from within you is just true self-worth. And it's like, in the same way that you would admire someone else, you are admiring yourself instead of trying to downplay it as yourself. No, no, no. This is self-admiration that is rising from within and ready to shine without. The way that you've been talking to yourself is going to start showing, it's gonna start reflecting. And I think that you're seeing the beauty of that and that's what's rising and shining from within you. I just heard, rest assured that everything is going to be okay. I feel like this is how you're starting to talk to yourself or how you have been ta talking to yourself, seeing that this is what is rising up. It's like that, that quote, Still I Rise, that people have written many songs and poems about, books about. All right, this is what is ready to rise and shine from within my group number twos. Let's go ahead and get some die. Uh, the number three again? Okay, the group number one had the number three as well. So, hey, hey, who am I to interrupt chance and opportunity and coincidences that I don't consider coincidences? All right, let's get it. Confidence is really up. We have intelligence here. Okay, yeah, so IQ, um, is, I don't really know, like, is it possible for, I'm sure it's possible for your IQ to, like, change throughout your lifetime. I feel like yours only gets higher. X, okay, that's another thing, too. You are, um, recognizing how intelligent you actually are. I don't know, you was, like, playing, downplaying yourself. Uh, E, J, T, So something about an X, J, T, T, J, Jet, Jet X, X, Jet. Um, I think this is a W. I can't remember, but I think it's a W. And then we have an N. And the reason why I say I can't remember is because it could be an M, but I think it's a W. Because I think the M is more structured like the N, like it's straight. But anyways, W or M, whichever. 
And then we have NN. That makes me think of the news, like CNN. Okay. Two more letters. O. So we have no. We have not. And we have P. So we have pot. We have pow. We have toe. We have now. There's so many combinations. You go ahead and do what you got to do, love. We have jet, wet, net, pet. Okay. <laughs> all right. So this is all that I have for you guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Leave love in the comment section down below. Let me know how do you feel this activating? How do you feel this energy ready to rise and shine from within you? Sending you so much love, so much life. And if you are Italian, I'll see you at the very end. But if not, take care of you well. All right, so group number three that resonates with speculation. The number four, speculation, Jupiter, Cancerian energy. Okay, so um, what is ready to rise and shine from within you immediately? It's something that everybody is going to be staring at. Oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, they're going to be staring. They're going to be confused. We have Venus love. Oh, okay. Let's see. Why are we confused about your love life? Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's get in the bottom of the deck. Energy. The sun and cancer still want to show up. So there's a lot of Cancerian energy here. Something is very quick, sudden. And... This has like people's heads spinning because they're like, what? I thought, they're like, I thought, they're like, I thought that they said they moved here, but now they're here. Or I thought that they said that this, like basically something's not adding up or something happened really fast. Okay, this could be um, something about a couple for you and a friend. Something seems sudden. Something seems sudden. Like a sudden pull towards some, oh, this is also giving like, um, every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back. That's Chingy pulling me back. Oh my, the Six of Cups. Okay, so what is ready to rise and shine from within my group number threes? It's almost as if you, uh, this is projection. Yes, but it's accurate almost. Okay, there's something about you appearing as a, a vision or a dream actualized here. I didn't mean to pull that. Why did I do that? See, I don't know. There's something weird going on around here. There's something, yeah, like that's how people are gonna be. Like, I think maybe you could be the one with this feeling. What is um, rising and shining from within you is your intuition. Um, maybe like someone comes back around and you're like, I know what this is about. Okay, there's something like that. Like. Uh, I know what this is about or this is other people's assumptions um I'm like oh I know what this is about but again this is about what's rising and shining from within you so you are recognizing something like something is a you're, you're putting two and two together you're realizing what something is all about let's see we have the three of cups I think you're gonna peep something or something something or it's gonna come to you with the tower at the bottom of the deck and we have the king of wands something's gonna something is gonna dawn on someone or something's going to dawn on there's something about dawning on someone like they they catch on to something we have the king of wands at the bottom of the deck yeah and 
At the bottom of the deck here is the sun with expression, so something is made clear. This could be you realizing why someone likes you, loves you, or wants you back. Like it's something that's gonna put, it's it's something kind of like uh like mischievous, like putting a smile on your face. Okay, listen, we have otter spirit. You are never alone. Yeah, like something about you recognizing like this is literally what's rising up within you to rise and shine you are recognizing the impact that you have on someone or something or the impact that you have in people's love lives time for a beginner mind there's something here about like you i don't know why this is coming through but what's ready to rise and shine from within you is this part of you that knows for a fact like you read like it's something that happens on an instant on a whim and you recognize at that exact moment that that is why people like you or that is why they love you or that like there's something here clicking um that you are going to be like really smiling about that like wins you like something about you that wins people over every time like what makes you the standout candidate or option in any room that you stand in or any lineup you know there's something about like you are going to be recognizing this recognizing a gift or a talent from within you that people really love or are inspired by and again, it's something that got you kind of smug here. We have cracked cup dissatisfaction with life. Yeah, like something that people, there's something entertaining about you, okay? Like you bring a spin of fun. Yeah, rose. Romance is in the air, flowers, happiness, and then trouble accusations. Like I feel like there's something, again, I talked about the little devious smile. Like it's something mischievous that people love about you and you're going to be recognizing this and this is what is rising and shining from within you. Like something about people's favorite thing about you is going to be right on the surface and so they're gonna be staring you down. I don't know. Again, projections, fantasies, things of that nature. This Mercury retrograde that I'm currently filming within is actually doing me a lot of favors, okay? I know that it hasn't started yet, and trust me, it's it's taken a few hits, but I like to focus on the positive. It's doing a lot of good, okay? Let's go ahead and get one last tea leaf card, please. Just one desk. Pay attention to your work. Time for beginner mind. Pay attention to your work and claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. Okay, and there's also something about a sense of smart and like safety, well thought out here. Um, although it's like mischievous, it's well thought out. There's something that's so well thought out. I don't know what that, what is that about? Something is super well thought out or clever. I think you're going to be playing up on something that you are soon going to recognize that people love or like about you. Like you are, basically you're flaunting it if you know that you got it. And that's not literal. You don't have to like, just cause you got ass on me, you gotta shake it and show it, you know? Like, and if you do, nobody cares, you know, like do you. But I'm just saying, there's something here that, but it's more of a, a trait or a quality within you that you play up on. Um, that's kind of mischievous and you are going to be highlighting this once you recognize basically you're just trying to get your way in a situation literally it's manipulation this is this is manifesting this is whatever you want to call it oh my gosh one of the groups is manipulation uh and it's what is it group number five manipulation so you might be drawn to group number five manipulation don't be scared don't be scared. Like you, there's something about a fantastic start. Like pay attention to your work time for beginner mind. I'm seeing like, there's something about like a, a quick witted start or an attention grabber. There's something like that here that you are 
playing up on for yourself all right so this is all that i have for my group number threes thank you so so much for tuning in leave love in the comment section down below let me know how this resonates for you if you'd like to book a personal reading that information is in the description box down below if you are a talian i will see you at the very end of this reading so that we could dive a little bit deeper some mo and i'm off wow so guess what group number three i forgot to do your chance things here okay we have the number four all right let's see what needs to pop up by chance in your reading oh four four okay we have beauty oh there's a little fuzzy on there beauty okay and let's see what letter yeah and we were talking about like um because speculation it's giving physical like what catches the eye and we have beauty here again you're playing up on something all right we have l okay it could be uh lips here for some of you we have z okay for some of you don't take no offense to this for somebody you have a lazy eye or something like this um and you're playing up on it um or there's some sort of physical impairment here even that you are using to your benefit okay uh we have j if i could put it down correctly okay we have like lizzie j or j liz okay uh what else do we have here we have pay okay we have pay is that a Y? Girl, what is that? Oh, I think that's actually a broken... Is that a broken K? Again? All the Ks, they always break. Okay, so pack or pay. J, lay, zay. I don't know why I'm being brought to like PayPal, Cash App, things of that nature. We have L, R, Ralph Lauren, Prey. That looks like a, that looks like a Y to me. Pray, play, double L's. I'm getting a few more letters. We have N, U, something about a payroll. O. And F. But yeah, there's something about a payroll here. Like people would pay for something. I don't know, dog. All right, so this is all that I have for you. I almost forgot, but I didn't. Now, I'm off. Group number four. I almost forgot what number you are. Group number four. I just started tasting mashed potatoes, and now that makes me want mashed potatoes. But anyways, mashed potatoes and gravy specifically. You have drama, Mercury, Leo, the number five. Let's talk about it let's see let's see what is it within you that is ready to rise and shine ready to let out a big roar for some of you this is like a big burp like you or you're, you just have a lot of air that's in you you're trying to get air out or you're trying to get something off of your chest we have Saturn here, trying to figure out how to say something the right way. You're about to figure out how to say something the right way. This could be on a Saturday specifically. Um, or if you have some sort of practice or training on a Saturday, you're getting better. Aquarius. Or if you are the one teaching something on a Saturday, you are getting better. We have the word opinionated just stood out to me. Um, there's something here about a compliment. So what's ready to rise and shine from within you? Something about compliments. That's, that's an odd way to say that. Okay, let's see. We have healing. We have Chiron. Healing others. Okay, so complimenting other through... I'm sorry, healing others through compliments. We have the world here. Okay, so you're just ready to compliment people more. Literally, yeah, like just, you're just ready to throw compliments out left and right, like heartfelt ones, don't get me wrong, you're not being fake, but you really just wanna like throw beautiful opinions at everyone. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, and you are healing people's inner child with that. Or this is something that you already do 
and you might be like why do I always feel the need to like compliment people it's a part of your healing work the hanged man it's like you say exactly what they need to hear so when you think something nice say something hummingbird spirit be here now yeah literally like if you think of something on the spot look otter spirit you are never alone this card came out in the last group um but yeah like compliment people to let them know that you see them porcupine spirit time for a beginner mind this also came out in the last group let's shuffle again just to get a new oh this know your worth and let spirit be your god yeah like you're like paying people in compliments watch and wait and it's like bringing good karma to you and it's like not like me telling you this is not going to be your reason for doing it it's like you're going to try it you're going to be like oh like it feels good to say something nice when i think about it yeah frog spirit clear out the clutter like speak your mind more often the nice shit say the nice things more or say the nice things as well okay balance because i was getting that with this black and this white here the black representing and matching this black for yin and the white representing and matching this clear for the yang we have tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead and hills obstacles to overcome <laughs> those are just too perfect um dog barking advice from a friend yeah like you just hope to pass the time pass the day you just make something feel okay when you give a compliment away so your reading is really quick really simple but literally you're just being called to compliment people the number four again let's do that again the number one okay let's see what needs to come out by chance here so apparently four and one needed to come out but um let's continue on we have security yeah, like people's sense of security in themselves and their your security in yourself. W T what the fuck? What the Excuse me? G J C J T R T J W room manager michael jackson rent the runway or rip the runway one more this letter wanted to be the star of the show this letter here and all right so this is what wanted to come out by chance into your reading about what is ready to rise and shine from within you but yeah you're just being called to spread the wealth spread the confidence spread the love spread the joy leave love in the comment section down below if you're a Italian, i'll see you at the very end but i'm off group five with manipulation the number eight scorpio energy jupiter energy let's go ahead and hop right to it let's go ahead and find out what is it that is ready to rise and shine from within you boo we have a taurus the connoisseur okay so influence influence we have moon and leo this is bringing me to that one quote if you can get a leader to follow you you're a leader something like that i'm seeing like heavy influence influence over the well endowed if you will libra which is how we know you're the truth yeah people pleaser not like literally like you going out of your way to please people but you are just very popular with high level ranking people come on first house self people whose identity is their identity 
you heavily influence them. That's what's ready to rise and shine from within you in whatever way that that resonates. The five of swords, you make those that you feel are already ahead of you take a double take at you. Two of pentacles. They'd be like, damn, like, do I want to do that? Should I do that? Ten of swords. You make me like, dang, should I change my ways? Yeah, the two of swords. You really make them think twice. Psst, the magician. As I'm sitting here talking about, like, basically mind control or telepathy. And when I say mind control, you wouldn't have this power if you were using it for negativity. Unless this was a superhero movie where, uh, where the villain was just about to control everybody's mind. Like, you know... In Spongebob when Plankton had the, the buckets on people's heads and he was taking over the, the whole bikini bottom. That ain't this. You wouldn't have this power. Not to this capacity. If it wasn't something real, if it wasn't something true. These two cards want to come out for you. 50 and 30. The difference between that is 20. Any of those numbers could be relevant. We have Rhino Spirit overcome any obstacle and Grasshopper Spirit take a leap of faith. And we have Hummingbird Spirit be here now. I just keep getting this energy of like being spacey and you bringing old matter and connecting it with new matter to fill in the gaps, to fill in the space. And that's why it's manipulation because it actually causes action. It, it makes a difference, I should say. Like, yeah. This is, oh my gosh, I hope I'm getting this message through. Oh, God. All in all, your technique hits different because you have matter and you have matter and in between the two uh, points of matter is just dark space dark energy and you show how to bring those things together to bring a more grounded energy to bring a more confident comfortable energy it's like you condense energy so that it's because it's like if it's too spacey it's taking up way too much space and that's it's like giving this energy of anxiousness if it's too spaced out you have a calming influence when in an anxious world imagine how much mid power of manipulation you have to be calming to make people feel comfortable to make people put their guard down crib birth or conception of a child or enterprise like literally as gentle as people are with newborn babies That's what's ready to rise and shine from within you is a gentleness that still gets the point across without having to beat on the chest about it. Not saying that you ever did, but maybe in your own way you did, you know? Let's get one last tea leaf card. We have May. Oh, you get a bonus card because May... It's a month. Let's get one more. Oh, you got two bonuses. Okay, we have horse, short journey, and wheel indecisiveness, allowing yourself, allowing your life to ramble on aimlessly. This makes me think of a farm immediately. Um, like a house and a farm. Like you just got a, a baby and, and a farm. Or maybe you could be visiting a farm or something. I don't know. We have ear good news at the bottom of the deck that came out in group number one. Let's get new bottom of the deck energy. But yeah, like, oh yeah, you definitely got to check out group number one. You definitely do. And look at them ears. Come on now, look at them ears. Look at them ears. And there's like this, this belief or this superstition that people with big ears um, are more successful 
And I think that's uh, certain people's level of success represents their ability to manipulate, whether they use it positively or negatively is on them. Table, hard work ahead. So I feel like I was just coaching people through something. And now that I know that everyone understands, now I feel like I could just step back part ways, be quiet now. There's something here. Um, what's ready to rise and shine from within you is a silent thunder or silent power like you don't have to say a word but we already know exactly what you mean like it's almost like your your mind is so powerful that it speaks for you like i, I don't know like a mastermind, a genius. Hall of Fame, plaques on the wall is what I heard. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride and I Like how that song got stuck in people's heads and that changed everything? Come on now. That's manipulation. But I'm not going to dive too deep into it. Bye. Leave love in the comment section down below if you're Italian. I'll see you at the end of this video. But I'm off. Italians. We got intuition. Mercury. Cancerian energy. The number four. So what is ready to rise and shine from within my Italians? What is ready to rise and shine within my Italians? Something fun. Something exciting, or something about Archangel Gabriel. Let me know what is Archangel Gabriel all about in the comment section down below. Devotion. A committed way to have fun like you're finding fun in your work or you're finding fun in your commitments bottom of the deck we have north node you're finding the joy along the journey along the path yep you're finding the right people places and things to be with interact with cry with argue with have to forgive but there's always more love so these are like them ride or dies that's like you got my back i got your back see ten of pentacles like family like real loyalty real trust real integrity see look and as i just split split the deck ant spirit time to collaborate you're finding your like your true tribe wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom you're like the like the the pack leader or something like this but it's like in their own way every wolf is a leader in some sense Cow spirit. Miracles are endless. Desk, pay attention to your work. This came out in another group. Was it group number three? I think so. Let's get a bonus one. All right. So the bonus one is money will be coming to you. So that's very straightforward. Uh, pay attention to your work because money will be coming to you. Um, we have chair filled someone new is entering your life and we have diamond you'll be receiving a you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift we have hat you'll be playing a different role so this person coming into your life uh giving you this gift or 
receiving a gift from you is going to be changing the dynamic of this relationship or changing your dynamic or your perception in the world. Um, this could be like you adopting someone, uh, you marrying someone. Uh, for others of you, it could be um, something about money. Like winning, oh, like the lottery. It doesn't have to be like lottery, but like betting. Like I'm seeing people in um, Vegas, like in casinos, betting, like something like that. What does this mean in sign language? Doesn't this mean like pay? Like, I don't know, but I keep doing this. I don't know. This could also be um, something that you inherit from a grandmother. Uh, like a business that you inherit from a grandmother. I don't know. Something like that, y'all. Something like that, y'all. Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and get our random messages. Our random chance tunes. We have the number six. Let's see. What needs to come through? We have the word alertness. Oh, that's... I didn't expect that. Okay, so this is going to be something that um, like perks your ears up. See, the, the pack leader... Like, this is something that's really going to catch your attention. I'm going to... Talians, hold up. I need a bonus card for my Talians. Because what? Imagination? Yeah, it's like you're going to be snapped into reality because reality is looking like a dream. Cheerfulness. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. Green heart chakra. And the sacral chakra is being highlighted. So yeah, it's like something that you dreamed into being, you manifested. We have the letter H. We have the letter Q. Headquarters. Hanukkah. H H. Furniture. You could some of you could be winning furniture, like a chair, a couch, a bed. Something about iTunes, you could be winning. Do they give iTunes gift cards? Is that still a thing? Sure. Why? Why? X. I'm hearing the letters B and S. <laughs> BS bullshit. <laughs> Someone's calling bullshit. Hey, you don't have to take it. We have triple H's. H is equivalent to the letter eight. So you could be seeing triple eights. We've got an N and a W. I'm hearing to get four more letters. We have S, oh my gosh, and B. So the BS that I just called out, okay. We have D and N. Wants to come out again. Okay, so Dabin, Dazin, Dan, Danny, J, Johnny, J, 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 whatever. Alright y'all, this is all that I have for you. Sending you so much love, so much life to my Talians. Oh. Okay.